In this video, you're going to learn about Facebook ad objectives. Okay, so we're here in the Facebook ads manager and we're at the dashboard and we're going to go over all these Facebook ad objectives. The first one is boost your post where you can boost a post from your fan page. Now in the old power editor, this is considered page post engagement. So if you ever hear me say boost your post or PPE, these are the same things. And basically what a page post engagement ad does is its objective is to get the most engagement that it can on your post. So this would mean like likes, shares, comments. That's what a page post engagement in boost post is supposed to do. So that's going to be your most viral ad. If you're trying to get an ad to go viral, get a lot of likes, shares, comments, then you're going to want to do a boost post or a page post engagement post. The next is promote your page. And in the old power editor, that is also page likes. So promote your page and page likes is when you're trying to build your fan page up and you're trying to get more fans and more likes for your fan page, you'll run a page likes or promote your page ad objective. Reach people near your business is if you have a local business and you just want to reach people nearby. I've never used this objective or the increase brand awareness objective. I've only used boost your post and promote your page. And these are the two that you'll probably use the most as well. Moving on, we have send people to your website. And that is in the old power editor, clicks to website. So whenever you want to run an ad objective where you're going to get people that are most likely to click through to your website, you're going to run clicks to website and send people to your website ad objective. There's also get installs on your app, raise attendance at your event. I don't really use these two, but you can if you have an app or you're trying to get attendance to your event. The next one is get video views. Now that is video views. So whenever you run a video ad and you want to get a lot of video views on that ad, then you would use the video views ad objective or the get video views ad objective. Collect leads for your business is what is considered a lead ad. And we have that right here, lead generation. Increase conversions on your website is website conversions. So whenever you want people to take a certain action on your website, you'll use website conversion. And website conversion works off of your pixel. And we'll go over the Facebook pixel in the Facebook pixel training video. However, you use website conversion when you want people to click through and make a purchase of your product. Increase engagement in your app. I'm not really using apps. However, they also have that here, which would be mobile app engagement or mobile app installs. Get people to claim your offer. That is an offer ad, offer claims, and promote a product catalog when you have an entire catalog of products that you've uploaded into Facebook, you can run a product catalog sales. So it creates ads that automatically show products from your product catalog based on your targeting audience. And that's a little bit more advanced. So the main ad objectives that you will use is boost your post send people to your website and increase conversions on your website. So remember boost post is for engagement, like shares, comments, when you want your ad to go viral. Send people to your website is people that are most likely to click through to the ad to go to the website. Increase conversions on your website are people that are most likely to make a purchase on your website. Now, you really want to test all ad objectives. Some ad objectives do better than others. But just for an example, let's just say there was an audience size of 1 million. Say that your niche had an audience size of 1 million or the interest that you was targeting. There's going to be a certain percentage of people in there that are most likely to engage with your ad, with your product. And that's going to, when you run boost your post, that's going to cater to those people that are most likely to engage. 
there's going to be another percentage of those people that are most likely to click your ad and that's going to fall under the send people to your website and then there's going to be a percentage of that audience that is most likely to purchase and that's going to fall under increased conversions on your website so by you testing each ad objective you're able to hit that audience and that interest at different angles and Facebook can better optimize for the people that are in the engagement category the website clickers category and the website conversions and buyers category in this video you've learned about Facebook ad objectives in both the ads manager as well as the old power editor